Welcome, we are gathered here today at the Ministry of Public Works and Transport for the second edition of the 2022 Electric Mobility Showcase. Let me take you on a little tour. The event began with a series of formal talks delivered by the Ministry, development partners, the private sector and embassy representatives to a diverse audience including academics and students. UNDP highlighted the ongoing global EV trends and their role in developing an EV charging roadmap for Cambodia. Energy Lab, the organizers highlighted local trends in Cambodia and Phnom Penh. The summer project highlighted the important role and need for tailored and locally sensitive approaches. The private sector then showcased their existing products on the market and their aspirations to upscale. The formal talks were then concluded by Son Chan Tol, the senior minister of MPWT, who reiterated Cambodia's aims of having 40% electric cars and buses and 70% electric motorcycles by 2050 in line with the government's long-term carbon neutral development strategy. He also highlighted the need for proactive participation of all ministries, institutions and stakeholders to formulate and implement policies, strategic plans and roadmaps to ensure the smooth and successful dissemination of EVs and their supporting infrastructure, taking into account the energy sources and the recycling and disposal of the batteries. Following the formal session, participants were invited to learn about the many different EV makers and technology suppliers on the Cambodian market. This included two wheelers like GoTo by Oika, who operate a shared battery swapping e-mobility service, as well as Tara, Niku and Voltra. As for three wheelers, Onion was present, who recently launched their locally manufactured T1 e -tuk -tuk model for passenger transport and have plans to soon launch an EV for the movement of goods, joining and supporting the transition together with the likes of Food Panda, GHL, and Niam24. As for four wheelers, Letin, BYD, MG, and Jaguar were present, amongst others. And the test track was also set up so we could experience the different vehicles for ourselves. And lastly, as part of the event, the first of several UNDP-financed EV charging stations was unveiled in the Ministry car park. Similar will follow in Siem Reap, Patambang and Prea Sihanouk, while there are also ongoing talks with petrol filling stations to see them also install EV charging points. On behalf of the Summer Project and the Ministry of Public Works and Transport, we would like to say a big thanks for watching. As you can see, many exciting things are happening here in the Kingdom of Cambodia and we strive to make Cambodia one of the most innovative Southeast Asian nations on the EV front. So for more information on the Summer Project and MPWT's efforts, please check the links below. Until next time. The Summer Project is an ASEAN-German cooperation project implemented by GFA Consulting Group and Partners on behalf of GIZ.